Hello and welcome to Booze Cruise Reviews. Today, we're going to talk about Game of Thrones. So, last night, it's the season finale. finale. So be cautious because here are spoilers. We're going to talk about spoilers. spoilers. Um, but first of all, of course, um, last time we did, when Game of Thrones started, we actually did a beer review of Omegong's Three-Eyed Raven, which was mm -hmm. nice. It was kind of farmhouse sale, a lot of apricot and apple flavors. Well, to celebrate the end of the season, we went out and we got their Seven Kingdoms. And they described this as a hoppy wheat ale. It was hoppy. I got a lot uh, of... That's like a perfect description because... It was hoppy. You taste the wheat and you taste, taste the hops. The hops. <laughs> but it was actually a really nice blend, so I got a lot of, like, not overly citrusy flavors, but it was kind of, like, nice and mellow. But it was still... It was a nice representation of all seven kingdoms of Westeros yeah. combined. Yeah, it went down nice. I can see the Tullys or maybe the Tyrells drinking this, to be honest. Yeah, it went down nice, just like... Um, our king dove out that window. Uh, Tommen. Tommen. He, he was not a favorite king, but not for him being evil. It's just he was a very ineffective king. Poor Tommen. Yeah. But, he, you know, he went out on his own terms. But let's talk about the uh, episode and then the season as a whole. All right. So are we going to start just kind of blow by blow for the season or for the se uh, let's start TV with, show? Yeah, All right. episode. Yes. All right. So, of course, what was... T Big thing, the trial. The trial, yes. Oh. And honestly, that musical score going into that, the episode in the beginning. Not just the beginning, wow. the whole time. I love the, the musical score that really set the entire tone of this of the episode for me. And I loved it because there were times, especially in the trial when they're in the septum, silence. There's no music. And I think that they used their soundtrack a little bit sparingly, but very effectively. And, this, and this Game of Thrones has always like had a good music you know music behind good it yeah. good soundtrack yeah. but this one was like it stood out for this episode oh definitely so like it so, was noticeably that, that was my favorite yeah. part first um also the opening yay the dire wolf is back on winter fell in the opening yeah no more flayed man um but so anyway so going in i mean it's the end of the season so i have my my own little list of Valor Mogulus, who must die, and of course, High Sparrow was high on that list. I, I wanted the Sparrow to die. I was waiting, well, like... first was Bolton, but of course that was Yeah, awesome. Bolton was my number one. Sparrow was, was my the number most two. Status. Well, yeah. Bolton's death is the most satisfying. But yeah, the High Sparrow, I, I, I really have to give Marjorie a, or Marjorie a lot of kudos of realizing Cersei's not here. We're all going to <laughs> die. Let's go. And he's just like, you know, High Sparrow's like, no, no, no. Oh shit, we're going to die. But Marjorie is, is she's gone. She's gone. Oh, hence I think that's why I, I think if everybody else but Marjorie had not died, Tommen would still be here, but he's just like he he actually really loved her. He's like, that's it. I'm And done. um her brother, who got the, the oh, thing carved in his yeah. head, he's dead. But spoilers, I kinda knew he was gonna die because that was a given. he's gonna be in that Iron Fist series. He's Iron Fist. Yeah, you so can't do one you can't do both. I knew they were gonna kill him. But oh. man, Carving that into There's, his head. You're starting to Ugh. see a lot of parallels, too, between Cersei and the Mad King. The whole obsession with wildfire. And the, throughout the whole series, she's like, anyone yeah. does this to my family, I will burn them. I will burn and the city. I will burn this is kingdom. It, it's like it's a little weird, yeah. but, but were you kind of rooting for Cersei a little bit in that episode? I was. Yeah. To I, be fair. I was like, don't get him, Cersei. But the other thing I like, you know, moving on from Cersei, um, getting into Daenerys. Daenerys is finally... You know, crossing the, the Great Sea, which yeah. the Narrow Sea, which is nice. So I'm like, finally, we've been waiting. She's got those uh, ships from Yara. Oh, Daenerys and Yara. I like that. Uh, is that going to be a thing next uh, season? I, we'll I see. So. I think they make a Daenerys very, and Yara. They make a pair of couple. And um, speaking of Yara, Reek or um, uh, it's Theon now. Now Theon. He's Theon. Back to Theon. Yeah. Ah, he needs. A, he still needs his redemption. He needs his. He needs a dick. Yeah, he needs something because uh, he's lost so much. And you know what? He's done so many bad things, but he needs to come well, back. You know, he, he, I think he would, I never, I don't think he ever really fell because of what Ramsey did to him, but he really started redeeming himself at the end of last helping season, Sansa. helping Sansa, yeah. Speaking of, Sansa's been one of my favorite character arcs, because that first season, she was she the was, princess with she, the heart. Yeah. Guys. Yeah. But now she she's really she's becoming like a political badass. You and know. I did like her whole yeah, no, to Baelish. And then of course Baelish's like, Oh, well, I'm the only Baelish the creeper. Baelish the creeper. And he's of course thinking, well, the only way this is gonna happen if 
you marry me because you can't be lord of Winterfell. No one's going to lead Winterfell. It's like Jon's now king of the north. And I can just, I loved Sansa's look like, ha. Yeah, and speaking of Jon, the big reveal. Oh yeah, R plus L equals J is of course apparently canon now. So, Jon Targaryen? I don't know. We'll, uh, I'm thinking it'd be interesting. It's, it uh, seems like it is, but we'll find out for sure. Yeah. Of course, my, it will be interesting. But if he is, who's the true king of the north? Well, you know, in the books, Bran. Have, well, yeah, it would be Bran. Well, no, but I don't know. If Bran would really be king of the north. He's actually the three-eyed raven, so I don't think he can. Is uh, he going to live in a tree now too? I think so. We well, you know there's enough theories that actually the guy living in the tree, three-eyed raven, originally is actually Bran. Yeah. Just kind of the whole. Because let's face it, Bran screwed everything up. Sorry about the noise there. The air conditioner just it kicked is in. Hot. Hot. In here. Yeah. Um, anyway, but, uh, well, technically, you're asking about, you know, who's going to be the king, you know, what's going to happen to John. Targaryens traditionally intermarried their own siblings, cousins, etc., so you could see we'll Daenerys, see. John kind of thing coming up. I'd oh, be interested to see that. I like the idea that John and Tana or Daenerys? Daenerys? Yeah. Daenerys. <laughs> Daenerys. Yeah. He likes adding extra symbols. But, see, you get that married, you got a nice, big, powerful group going before the Great War. Yeah. Um, of course... I am loving the whole, you don't screw with Lady Tyrell, and she's just going with the Sand Snakes, and just Dorn, and you know, everyone's kind of coming together. This is when the series of very strong women I've noticed. Now it's like all the men have kind of been cut down, and it's like, yeah. oh, you got Cersei, Daenerys, Arya, Sansa. It's just like, okay. I yeah, like that. It's all queens now, right? The Game of Thrones? It's all queens. But... One of the standouts in the episode, and she was barely in the episode, Aria. but her scene was so good. Arya. Oh, uh, I'm glad Walter Frey is dead. But man, what would she say? The last thing you'll see when you a die start smiling is down a on start you. smiling down on you. Man, I want Arya to go. Arya? Aria. Arya to go and just... I hope she has a list. Like She does uh, have a list. She's got I think Cersei's still on that list. I hope she has a list like Steve Buscemi and... Uh, Oh, like and, in Boardwalk um, Empire? No, no not and that one. Billy Madison, oh, yeah. when he's crossing them out. She does. That's what she's That's quoting Valor Magulis. <laughs> yeah. um, but no, that was really good. Apparently she's a good baker. I mean, you got the meat pie with the sauce Yeah, that looks... Honestly, when they brought out that pie, I was, I was like, like that, that looks delicious. That looks, that looks pretty good. Uh, even um, after the tow, I was like, eh. <laughs> but, um, but no, that was good. Um, now let's talk about the season... As, as a, a whole. whole. Well, you know, for me, it kind of started off slow. You had, I mean, of John's, course, John came no. back. But I Everyone kind of knew that. Was that episode back. when they were bringing him back, it was so slow. You know Ugh. what I wish they did more? The Red Woman, Melisandre. We only saw her as the old lady once. I'm like, I wanted them to do more. I wanted a season. big reveal, like where she let people. Yeah, see. or even like. She when, didn't have to be naked when she did it, but, you know. You know. <laughs> she could have just. Oh, I'm actually old. But to me, I think, though, for me, the season was... I actually thought Arya's was slow, though. I'm seeing, like, towards the end, the arc kind of came together for Arya in Bravos. I was like, I'm not really sure how this is fitting in. Loved the wave, by the way, though. I loved loved that the Terminator run at the end. I know! My gosh, yeah, she terrified me. crazy. Um, that um, arc was, was slow for me. It was. When she was blind and she... You know, yeah. Arya was blind and she got her sight back. It was really slow. Um, but you know what? The... I felt like the payoff was so big in the last few episodes. It like, did to turn out. From yeah. the Hodor episode on, it oh, was just Hodor. nonstop. Okay, the, the, this episode has, or the season has had some of the biggest tear jerkers for me. I cried. Oh, Hodor. I, I know. I a little, I, a little tear. He, he is teary. I was bawling. Um, the whole wrap up of Ramsey was good. And I kind of, I didn't see enough of Brienne in this season. I mean, she was there. She was in that was... one, one or two episodes, I think, with Jamie. Well, and, and, they, and they, Sansa, you know. Yeah, and they it was kind of nice. They, uh, you know, her and Jamie have some nice oh, moments. Tormund, Tormund, the, the the wildling, he's he's got hard eyes for her. Oh yeah. He's like this. Is, I want this to be the mother of my children, but she won't look at me. But the giant, what was his name? One one. Uh, what? One one. One one. Yes. Oh, that was a death too. That was like. Yeah. It was the second to Hodor, I think, where I was like, no. Not even Rickon. Rickon is like, meh, Rickon. Yeah, sorry. When Rick, sorry, sorry, When Rickon Rick died, it was it's like, like eh. All I could think of was, man, Rickon got old. <laughs> the, the, 
<laughs> yeah, Rick and Gunnel. <laughs> I mean, he looked like a gangly teenager. Well, he was a gangly teenager. And Unlike Brennan, apparently... he can use his legs. <laughs> but but with Rick and, you know, when someone shoots a bow and arrow at you, zigzag. Let's zigzag a little bit. You don't run in a straight line. I mean, to be fair, he, he's been pretty sheltered, so he's probably just terrified and wants to go to his older brother, but so uh, yeah. Um, actually for me though, my favorite, my favorite scene, it was very small, was the very, was the last scene you see of Cersei when she's getting, you know, she's now the queen of Westeros, and Jaime comes in, and the look on his eyes is, I have to be a Kingslayer again. She's turning into oh a mad king. It's just like, there's no more, I, I still love her, I want to be with her, it's, I got a job to do. Is that going to happen? We'll I think see. it's going to be, I think it's, you know, because they keep talking about the wheel kind of turning in, yeah. uh, in the whole thing. I think it's going to happen again. But more and more people are going to, uh, to Daenerys. Daenerys' yeah. side. It's Daenerys, it's going to be Daenerys on the north, the Lannisters. I mean, aside from Tyrion. Oh. Actually, it's, it's Tyrion. And the only ones that are left the, are. The hand of the queen. queen. Yeah. Uh, actually, so actually the only Lannisters that really are left are Tyrion, Jaime, and Cersei. But I think. One of the best parts of the episode was Cersei. Shame. 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 Oh. Shame. oh. I'm just going to start doing that to people. <laughs> just walking behind. Shame. Shame. Only if you have the mountain behind you. Um, so anyway, yeah. So that that's kind of what we thought of the movie. Yeah. Or the movie. That was almost as long as it was. Well, basically, it was a movie. Um, but no, that, that, I really enjoyed the season. I'm... Can't wait for next season. I can't wait for next season. season. I know it's going to be a shorter season, but it seemed like the end of this season really wrapped up. Things are getting intense. Things are kind of calling to a culmination. So I'm hoping that all the episodes next season, while it might be a shorter season, are intense and really keep you on the edge of your seat. I want to see a big battle between the Lannisters and Daenerys. Daenerys. Daenerys <laughs> and her dragons. I actually, I, I just want to see Jamie go screw this and completely leave Cersei. Cersei has gone mad. Yeah. And Yara and Daenerys. Maybe. I would And of course, Arya. Yeah. Being a badass. Although taking my, ass and taking my names. Last question. Varys can apparently get from Marine to Dorne and back pretty quickly. Uh, Arya gets from Braavos to you know Lord Bray's pretty quickly. These white White Walkers, they have taken forever. Time passage in this show is a little mm. I just think that well, you know, the White Walkers are basically zombies, they just take their time. But anyways. Anyway, tell yeah, us so. what you think. Uh comment, comment subscribe, subscribe. Tell us what your theories are for next Give season. Give us a like, a little thumbs up. Yeah. And don't forget, try Omegon's Seven Kingdoms. It's actually really good. It goes great with the Game of Thrones episode. It does. All right. All right. See you guys later. Thank you.